on this episode of Gadget, dock it with the Kensington SD200V. We want to thank our production sponsors, the University Catholic Center, the Jesuits of the California Province Society of Jesus, and Gateway. And welcome back to Gadget at thetechstop.net. It's the place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balliser of the Society of Jesus. I'm a member of the California province of the Jesuits. We're the largest religious order in the Catholic Church. And as always, we're here in the Center for Apostolic Technology at the University Catholic Center on the campus of the University of Hawaii. Now, you may notice behind me that uh, our backlog is actually starting to decrease. This, this is a good thing. I've been depressingly watching the pile grow larger and larger, and I actually think that it might be shrinking, which means that we're catching up with all the gear that we've been getting, and we're getting it out to you. Now, you may also notice that we're going to be playing with the format of our episodes over the next couple of weeks. We're going to change the length and the style of presentation and uh, perhaps try to get a few more episodes out to you. Now, we're doing this so that we can get you your gadget goodness without killing our crew. We've got uh, a new piece of gear from our friends over at Kensington. Those are the guys who sent us those really cool mice and uh, the FM transmitter that we took a look at in episodes past. This is actually the Kensington SD200V USB Notebook Docking Station. Now, just like the name implies, this is a device that's designed to connect via USB to your notebook, or for that matter, to your desktop, and expand its capabilities. Now, hopefully most of you know what a notebook docking station is, but if you don't, and if you don't have a notebook that has a docking station option, they look something like this. I mean, they, they, they differ from manufacturer to manufacturer and model to model, but the general idea is you have some sort of connector in which the notebook can be pressed down into or, or latched onto, and then you have a series of ports and maybe a bay or two for a CD-ROM or a hard drive, maybe even an extra battery. This one actually belongs to a Dell Latitude D410. The idea is that you get sort of an easy way to connect and disconnect your notebook from your peripherals, from your printer, your monitor, your mice, your keyboards, your, your networking, and your power. It does save time, and in the past, uh, if you don't have a notebook docking station, there's only been a very few solutions that you could try to use. You could try to get a collection of USB devices, a USB mouse, USB keyboard, USB network adapter, maybe even a USB video adapter, and then hook that all into a hub, which is then plugged into your computer. But that's not very elegant, and you're just begging for USB compatibility problems. The other option has been to connect your computer to all of your peripherals each and every single time you want to expand its capabilities. The problem with that is that if you're going to tie down your notebook like that, if you're going to attach it to your desktop with six, seven different cables coming out of it, you might as well get a desktop computer because it's not going to travel all that much. Well, Kensington wants to give you another option with their SD200V. The idea is to take all of those peripherals and to combine them into one nice little package. Looking like a micro mini tower, the SD200V is designed to give your non docking station enabled notebook docking station capabilities through a single USB 2.0 port located here in the back of the unit. Essentially, the SD200V is a USB 2.0 hub with several components integrated into a single device. It has five USB ports, four in the back, and one in the front, as well as microphone in and audio out ports for those who wish to hook up their audio. The video on the SD200V is powered by DisplayLink technology. You may remember DisplayLink from episode 41 of Gadget. DisplayLink technology enables high quality, high speed, full frame rate video over a USB 2.0 connection. On the Kensington SD200V, the DisplayLink chipset enables a device to display up to 1440 by 1050 resolution. Setting up the SD200V is quite simple. Install the drivers and plug in the device. The Kensington software was intuitive and simple to set up. It's hot swap enabled, so you are not forced to reboot or shut down when docking and undocking your system. In our test, the SD200V worked flawlessly, and the driver support seemed very mature. 
When we plugged in the device, we were instantly rewarded with a second display, USB connectivity to our external keyboard and mouse, network connectivity through a connected USB Ethernet adapter, and audio that was automatically switched to make the external sound card the primary device. Undocking the SD200V undid all the changes without having to restart or change configuration. Audio on the SD200V was crisp and clear, and video was sharp and smooth when displaying images or video. One of the nice touches built in by the Kensington engineers was this dual view button built into the front of the unit. Pressing this button automatically switches the SD200V between clone mode and extended desktop mode. Very useful for those who want to take their presentation on the road. At the moment, the Kensington SD200V works only with Windows XP or Vista, but DisplayLink will be releasing Mac drivers at the end of March, and an update to the Kensington drivers can't be that far away. Right now, you can find the SD200V online for between $100 to $110, and it's backed by Kensington's two-year warranty. So a few final thoughts about the Kensington SD200V. I like this device. I mean, for $100 to $110, it's actually a, a really good deal. Not only do you get this nice little portable attractive unit, but you get your display link adapter that can display full video. You get your USB 2.0 hub. You get your audio adapter. And you get this nice little switch in the front that allows you to quickly switch between the extended mode and the mirror mode. That's not to say that all is good with the SD200V. The fact that it didn't include an Ethernet adapter within the package was a glaring omission. We couldn't really figure that one out. I mean, in order to get Ethernet connectivity on this, you have to plug in some sort of USB adapter or you have to use the internal Wi-Fi on your notebook or the built-in Ethernet jack. And if you're going to do that, it kind of defeats the purpose of having that one cable that connects all your peripherals. Still, the fact that this is covered by Kensington's high-quality product warranty, that it's backed by Kensington's engineers, that they're developing mature drivers for it, just makes me think that this might be a good addition for anyone who gets a notebook. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of Gadget. If you want to find out more about the Kensington SD200V or any of the other gadgets that we reviewed on the show, you can always drop by our website at www.thetechstop.net. If you click on the Gadget tab, you'll be able to find links for all of our shows in high resolution, as well as our show notes. If you want to send us an email, and we'd love to hear from you, you can write us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, I've been your host, Father Robert Ballas here. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology. And remember, there's no Uber Geek without you. <laughs>